shenanigans. Can you not put put none of this up, guy? We just having a conversation. Nigga, this you is don't person. control my media team. <laughs> Talk to me, nigga. What you talking about, nigga? Clubhouse shenanigans on deck, nigga. You crazy? Yeah, like clubhouse shenanigans. So, clubhouse so, shenanigans. So, so, in the, hold on, one mic. Clubhouse shenanigans is in the room, so this is going on YouTube. Man. So, so wait, what? Ninja. Question. I mean, um, Kendrick questioned whoever Drake brought out calling them a pedophile. Like, why is he around? Then he said, "Well, why is Doctor Dr. Dre Dr. around?" Dre. Yeah. You about the Doctor Dre shit. I, I guess so. The, yeah. Here goes the thing about that, right? Uh, what was it? A case or something? Or what? What? what, what, what where's the? Because you, you know the nigga that said it on the. I seen it on the Instagram. He looked like he about twenty something years old. So. Cause all morning I've been looking at a bunch of shit on me that, like this this nigga, what's this nigga Street TV? He say I paid an attorney to write up for a fucking cease and desist from Big U to lose cannon. Like nigga, I, I ain't did none of that nigga shit. We called the bitch, and I recorded the call because I wanted to make sure it was real. So the person that said this about Dre, right? Who? Where did it come from? They're saying that when Dr. Dre was messing with Michelle, she was 16 years old. Uh, I don't know. So we could check. Yeah, that's what Brock said. I don't know. I I never known her to be Hold on, under. Let's check, let's check. I mean, she might have been a little. Oh, that's it. Hey, what's Michelle's age? Uh, he was born in 65 and she was born in 70. So five years old. So five years different. So yep. how old was Drake when he was at? So this is death row. This is this not even early death row. This is like, because she start fucking with her too. They both fucking with her. So how many years was she? What, what year did they start dealing with Drake? They had to be was, around the roof. She was 16. Later on, turned 17 in December, and he was 22. What year? What year are we talking about? Um, let me see. She born in what year? Um, 1970. 70 plus. Wait, wait. She was 16. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it says she was born December 5th, 1970. Okay, that make her 16 and 86. Death Row wasn't there until 91, 92. This is why good niggas got to do their research. I think they talking about the ruthless era. Uh, nah, yeah. he wasn't. Nah, the, the Michelle, the Mich Michelle H. effect didn't come till that Death Row era, unless y'all know something. I it's, don't know. It said well, Michelle A. met Dr. Dre when she was 16, but she turned 17 in December. Okay, so, so you talking about... 86, 87. So this pre-death row. Okay, can we pull up how old Michelle A. Kid is by Dre? Oh, but whack, they're not, they're not even five Hold years on. apart because she was born in December and he was born in February. It, so that's the it, end it, of the year. What you know, for whatever the fuck. Uh, how old is Michelle A.'s son by by Dre? Somebody pull that up. Thirty-three years old, born in ninety-one. 33, all right, 33 years old, born in 91. What money born in 91? Let me get, it show? Let me get that, let me get that. February, yeah, he was born in February. February, so okay, so I mean she was pregnant in 90. So we gonna do the math, shit, let's do the math. One year 1990. Old. She's 20 years old when she's pregnant, right? Correct. So I'm, I'm going to go off some real shit. I'm going to go off some real shit. So he put a baby in her when she was 20. All right, so do we got something that's... Because I don't even think even in the movie, Miss L.A. was depicted in them earlier years. Do we got something? Is there something... That, that's putting them together like that. She was a musician. We got anything. See, I see. I'm gonna pull something. I'm gonna pull this kid. This kid was he been pregnant in her in 1990. 
I think the only thing that it is is she said they was dating in 87. She said they was dating or she met him? Dating in 87. But I'll so put it, though. What year did she meet him? I think 86, right? Because you said 16. So 87 would have been the year she would have been 17. 87. Okay, so 17. And Dre's 21. Okay, so we got 17, we got 21. So... How does Kendrick Lamar fit into this in Drake? Because we'll Drake, because Kendrick him. Lamar said to Drake, why he got all these niggas around with these weird cases, and then he slow down the right there, right? slow down right there. See, now this is where you going wrong, and it don't work over there on my stage. Niggas around with weird cases is not Drake because Drake never had a case. Right. He's speaking on his tip. Hold on. Pocket. He's speaking on his fucking security, whoever the nigga is, whoever that nigga is over there that 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 had a rape or some shit. That's who we speaking on. So a rape, are we putting, you know, I'm going to let you do this because you're on the hunter side. You want to put Drake over there with the rape? Because Drake, the weird that case, man, that Drake. That, ain't, that wasn't no rape. Hold on, slow down. Whatever the fuck that nigga did, sexual offense he did, that wasn't was with tempting. Drake. Okay, whatever you want to call it, my nigga. And that now that you have a kid, I hope you change your mentality, right? Because I didn't see some women be beaten to submission to go out there. I don't fuck with him. But if you think that's cool, if you, I mean, I don't know because I wasn't there, right? And I haven't talked to the actual lady. So when he's saying weird niggas with weird cases, we do understand he's not talking about Drake, right? We understand that, right? Cause you, you, you trying to mix shit. He's oh, talking he about said, it. He said the nigga name he was talking about. He said Baco okay. got a rear case. Why is he around? Okay, so he got charged with some sexual shit, right? Yep. Okay, that's weird. Now until we see the paperwork, man. and that, I don't give a fuck what you. We seen about, the paperwork. Bro. It is. I weird. ain't seen it. Where is it at? Where we, the work? We, we, we academics but, came on here. No, that's the shit we no, I ain't seen no work. The girl oh. didn't come back. The girl didn't come to court. That's why I, I didn't ain't do seen court. no motherfucking work. I ain't seen the work. Yeah, just I seen that to you. Just because a motherfucker don't come to court, nigga, because I know I've been the master. Of some people mm -hmm. not come. That nigga can be guilty. Don't You're mean, right. don't mean it didn't happen. So fact. we're establishing Kendrick is talking about this other nigga. Right. Okay. So I'm still trying to cross over. So which I, opens up the door of talking about other niggas, right? So now, why would you have a nigga, if your whole point and purpose, and everybody even brought up that now, video. Now, hold on, how far, how long girl, ago was this case? Uh, shit, the dude only like 30-something, so shit, it couldn't have been that long ago. Okay, so, did Dr. Dre get your case? With Mr. Was he charged with a sexual something? I think only thing was the case he no. caught with her was okay. hitting her. No. So Slow down. Was Dr. Dre charged with a sexual offense? No. Okay, now that I remember, now I'm really starting to recall to remember. I could recall that the mother knew that she was involved with Dre, right? Correct. Okay, so how we crossing man, one thing? Hell nah. nah. Ain't no hell on nah my ass. Bro. Nah, this man. Shit. This a West Coast bias shit. No, bro, no, 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 nah, no, hold on. Because how you going to sit here and pull a video of bro. Drake on stage with a 17-year-old okay, and talk so about that's, that's what we talking about? Nigga hold on. But see, this nigga see, can this have a baby. Thing. Come on, bro. I'm trying to get you to stop doing the weird shit and keep it real. So we're not talking about, we're not fucking talking about Right? We're not talking about the Drake. Yes, we are. We're talking about the whole thing. Fit. No, no. No, no. He said you got weird niggas around. So that nigga over there had a sexual offense. That's weird. I don't give a fuck. I'm a penitentiary nigga. I'm going to see it that you. way. I'm okay, great. So now we got Drake over here, right, who had a 17-year-old on stage, right? Now, Brock. I'm That's weird. You, that, hold on, I'm telling you, tread lightly, because uh, what I'm about to say is some real trick bag shit, but it's real. Okay, okay, I'm wait. I'll listen. All right, you got Drake over here with a 17 year old on stage that the father gave consent to go on stage. Let's establish that, right? Okay. We got Dre over here with a 17 year old, right? Who it looks to me that the mother was okay with her dealing with this nigga 21, 22. We can establish that Dre and Drake probably the same type of age within these two eras, right? 
Yeah. This is where it gets weird. It's not weird that she was pulled on stage because he didn't pull her on stage. It's not weird that she came on stage because the father gave consent for her to go on stage. But as the father, I'm thinking he's allowing his daughter to go on stage as a fan. Right. Now, do you want me to tell you where it got weird or do you want to tell me? I'm going to say it. It got weird whenever the whenever the girl say, I'm 17, and then he still was like, ooh. Why like, do you ooh. look okay? So now. Why do you look like that? The girl said I'm 17. He said, why do you look like this way? Okay, cool. That's weird as fuck. We ain't even gonna go past. Now let's stop right there. A nigga having a baby, nigga, a nigga dating a seventeen year old though. Listen, that's listen. weird as fuck. No, and, I, no, and, I, and I don't not, care how you try to play it. That's not. weird as fuck. I'm gonna tell bro. you why it's not. That's weird. weird as fuck, bro. I'm gonna tell you why it's not weird. Man, you right? ain't convincing me, no, bro. I'm, I'm, cause I'm finna trick bag you in a minute. Go ahead, now. you got it. I'm you finna got very it. trick bag you, right now. Go on over there and ask your mama about her mama. And find out how her, her husband So was. then Drake wasn't in the wrong either then, nigga. No, he definitely was in the wrong for what he said. Because guess what? The father. The father. I'm pretty goddamn sure. Didn't think he was going to make a pass at his 17-year-old daughter. Now, it was obvious Dre is dating this woman. Because he coming to pick her up. So, that parent... If we gonna I gotta go look into the weird. research today. We if gotta we look into the research call, today. Bro, if we gonna call somebody weird, we gonna call the parent weird. On some real shit. That because that day weird. and age, I will say this shit. In that day and age, I'm gonna go even down to 16. That 16 to 21 shit, I knew it. Because when I would get out of school, I was just a young nigga with a Cadillac. That's all you seen pulling the up. The old niggas come and through and pull the, the, pull the bitches out of and, high school. And the, and the cheerleaders get in the car with them, right? And I'm going to tell you what's even crazier. They would take them right home and go in there and, and, and talk to the bomber. This is a fact. If you watch Paid in Full, right, they depict the shit on Paid in Full. It's funny. But that back in that era, that's what it was. Now, we go even further back. A lot of our grandparents... Your granddaddy nigga is 70 and your grandma is 60. 58 yeah. and shit. This is a fact, right? It'd be a big difference sometimes. It'd be uh, some crazy shit. So it's like, hold on, nigga. You was 23. She was 14 or 20, 13 and shit. But but, but on some real now, shit. Now, I don't know weird? how you comparing the two because if we got a situation, I never heard Miss L.A. say, my mother told me to stay away from me or my mother this or mother that, mother this, mother that. Right? The only thing I can put a definite on is you was fucking that girl at 20. Because you had, had, had the baby. Right. I can put a definite on that and I can't really frown on that because that's, that's right at that point, Dre 25, right? Mm -hmm. um, the involved thing, right? We got to go off what Miss Chalet said. I don't know if she said she was dating a nigga, living with the nigga. <laughs> with the nigga, working with the nigga, I don't know, right? Was he whooping her ass? A lot of strong speculations. Was she whooping her ass? Very strong speculations, right? On both sides, right? I ain't even seen no police reports even put that on them, but it's very, very strong speculations with that. But I'm inside, talking... Inside, if they began dating a few months within meeting each other, Michelet was 16, later turned 17 in, in December. Okay. So now, this is Miss Chalet saying she was dating, right? Is Dre claiming that, or is he denying that? I, I can't. I you gotta give me some time. I don't too many interviews though. But I just found this information out this morning. But I found it because out. Because I will tell you what niggas was known for back then, especially if they knew you was underage. They keep Red you certain. around. They Red certain. Keep your ass around. They buy you shit. Let you hang around. All that type of shit. And I'm, I'm going to say it. They going to do something. They going to kiss her. They going to touch her. They going to do something. Right? I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna, real, they they gonna That's something. all I'm trying to get in right. here. No, we call it. But I'm saying what Kendrick said about that nigga. That nigga got a real case over there. Had a real case. And this nigga really. Can I say my point, though? Did some weird shit. Now, if you are supporting him telling the 
17 year old damn why you look this way no we condemning we that too oh we condemning okay. that too so that shit it? weird but i but you don't go you don't be on stage singing a song calling a nigga a certified pedophile saying and niggas around him is weird saying he only fucks with a minor when the so nigga that introduced the song literally did that but we don't know but hold on we don't we don't know if the parent gave consent and it don't matter the nigga literally li legally at the end of the day hold the on, woman bro, you always real. tell me this no listen, listen if my daughter's 17 that's cool and i allow her to date a nigga 19 20 as the parent you gotta I sign allow. some papers you ain't gotta sign shit you can't you just gotta... consent that shit that shit illegal no you nigga, you nigga gotta sign no, some paperwork no that's that's cap because nigga i lived with mine lived i hear you but too legally if your daughter if they gonna go date somebody over the age federally it's illegal unless y'all gave bro, them the right bro i lived and was having sex that is that would have been deemed as statutory rape without the consent of the parent. That's a fact. That's a fact. Even right? if you was underage. No, she's six months older than me. It don't matter. We was both teenagers. No, I'm saying teenagers. even if you was underage. I'm saying. No, I was matter. underage. We was both yeah. teenagers. But I didn't have to give the motherfucking sign consent. Nigga, she gave me consent to be there. To I'm talking about there. if you 22 and she's 16, the parents have to, they have to, 17. okay, you right. But, but at 17. the end of 17, 16, it says 16 and turn 17. So, mm -hmm. hey, let's let, like, let's call spades, spades, okay. bro. Let's not clean it up just because this nigga. We're from not wherever. cleaning it up. All right, bro, because, like, let's let, because we got to call it. Anything real. you say until you get the parent that says, I told Dr. Dre to stay away from my daughter. I feel like you I feel like you got to get the parents saying he they gave permission. I don't nigga. have to because. <laughs> like, like was, where did you get that from? I'm going to tell you. Where you betting at? Man, Carl Malone got a lot, got away with that shit forever, bro. I don't know nothing about that. That's some Texas know, shit. You might, know, know, you might, you might. He's from Texas. Yeah, however, he, but it's a southern is. nigga. Also right. fucking a young ass girl. I ain't fucking with know. that, bro. I don't. Did the parent know? I don't give a fuck if they knew. You're a weird ass nigga if you fucking no, a sixteen no, you year old. You, you I don't care if you point. go find some sick then ass. You gotta parents, go call you gotta your granddaddy weird too. I will, and I told these niggas on stage that I'd do that too if he was that. It ain't that for them. They the same age. But if it was something different, I would. Like, yeah, like, so. Listen to what I'm saying, right? Until, it don't matter. No. If listen, you, you can't things. compare the two because no, weird, if bro. you got a, a parent over here that's consenting versus a nigga who finds out the age and still makes a sexual pass at her, they both weird. You can't compare the two, though. I ain't comparing. They both weird, nigga. That's you it. You can't compare the two. Man, whack, well, you ain't calling this shit, man. No. Nope. Now, here it go. I think it's what's crazy is the nigga, the nigga Kendrick night this nigga up so bad to where you niggas is still looking for a way to get a W. You just ain't gonna find it. Brother, brother, I'm telling the real deal. It don't matter what you saying, but it's the real deal. Like whatever we just I said, don't, we I'm only still said until I hear, listen, me personally. I don't agree, but until I hear that parent say he did that behind my back, I'm not gonna call it that, bro. Because the but you, parent gave All right, let me ask you this: Is it is it is it is it, is it ironic that you're using a minor and pedophile and all that, but the nigga you get to say, "Hey, open up the song on the on the concert" is the same shit? He didn't do the same shit. He did worse. No, he didn't. What you mean? He did work. I, Drake had a girl on stage that said, "Ooh, you look good." He actually dated no, no, and had, no, no, and no, had, no. A, and had a whole seventeen-year-old girl. After what? He grinding on that girl. He said that after what? After she said her age. Okay. Drake still, okay. That, Drake still fucked with her after she said her age. Okay. Well, I mean, what well, nigga? She was seventeen. That's what he was 16, doing. 17, uh, yeah. yeah. If if the if the parents gave the nigga consent, that's what they did. I'm gonna but be a real. nigga have to ask for consent though. Whack first, you gotta be weird first, and then you go do the consent. You don't go to him. You first really don't have to ask for booth. consent. I'm gonna be real. This how it really works, because you know, if you, you remember, you still young, nigga. I'm you, listening. You can't go back to them times, right? This how it works, young man. How old are you? This what happens. I'm telling you what happens, young man. How old are you? He says, I'm 21, right? You know what the mother's thinking? I was the same age when I got with your father. I'm telling you what she's thinking. 
I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. If she probably wasn't young, I'm just gonna keep it real. So back in these days, so when this shit happens, and a young man, how old are you? I'm 21. Oh, okay, we were the same age when I met her father, right? They write it off. Now, legally, it's definitely against the law. But I'm telling you how that shit used to go back in them days. I, seen I ain't them even arguing time. with you on that, it's right? Real I shit. promise. I'm and not then arguing when I you. started to really do my research on grandparents and shit, I'm like, God damn, these motherfuckers was even young. This nigga 23, she 14 and shit like that. And then as you go back and keep going back, you discover all kind of way out shit, right? But what I'm saying is they're two different things, right? Dre, when that lady said she was 17, the nigga Drake, he shouldn't have made that remark. Now, the legal age of consent in that state is 17. So what happened was the Drake fans wasn't strong enough, bro. All Kendrick did was throw it out there. They didn't have to take the bait. I, bro, I was, bro, whatever. I, I did the research. I put it up. I, I remember that, thing. but, but this is my thing, though. Wait. Legal age of consent in Colorado is 17. Facts. But federally. I put it up. But federally, you, but you, you, you. Federally, federally, right, it's 18 in the law of the land. But in that state, it's 17. Now, I don't know what he's being held to because he's a Canadian nigga, so I don't know how that works because he over here, he's just held to all federal across the board. I don't know, right? Because he's yeah. not a citizen over here. I don't know how that shit works. But I said legal age of consent is 17, right? Was it distasteful? Yeah. But was it illegal when it came to the state of Colorado? No. So why is you so butthurt that the motherfucking... I'm not butthurt, bro. I'm just calling it real. Fans, listen, you mad that the fans crucified the nigga. The fans did that. I'm a fan too, bro. I'm just calling it real, bro. Like, listen. Listen, I'm what, the fans listen bro. Did it. Listen, listen. All listen. Kendrick is doing say it. But listen to me, though, bro. Listen to me. Listen to me real quick. So, the nigga been on there talking about certified Fort pedophile, Duke. certified pedophile. I yeah. even told you I didn't like that shit back then. You said he could say what he wanted to say because the bitch was 17. Pedophile, uh, molested, all that shit is in the he same He's not talking from... about Drake. No, he is. When he was no, saying that no. shit. Okay, fuck that. A minor. Probably A minor. That's it. He that's is a way. minor. A 17 is a minor. So, my point to you is. They both were dealing with li- a minor. Listen to me, though, eh? Why would you get Dr. Dre to introduce your song when this nigga was dating a 16 year old? How the fuck is that? that like, that's the funniest shit in the world. 17. He not understanding, baby. This is how I go went back then. Oh, my God, Hold bro. On. You is, bro. Oh, my. No, this real I, I shit. I wish I was born on, in Compton. Because, nigga, I have, your, I have you to have my back. Fuck no, you. it's this real shit. Crazy, bro. This shit insane, bro. I'm 21, right? I bring you home. You say, come and meet my mama. You, you think she's 16? 17. Right? Mm-hmm. Your mother going to say... How old are you, young man? And I'm going to say 21. She know her daughter 17. Back in those days, what is that mother going to think? A lot of times they say, oh, that was the age her father was when I met her. Right. Right? Yes, they're going to do that. And then they're going to get their approval. There you go. Because they feel like, okay, he's older, he's mature, he can take care of her. That's what it was. He had to together. That, now tell me, tell, tell me, that Drake brought Matter at the studio, fucked her, got her pregnant, sent her home pregnant. The mama found out and all that. Then I'm gonna be with you. But I'm just keeping it real, my nigga, on what that was back then. I'm telling you what it was. We I'm all not, hey, listen, I ain't trying to dish it, dish it because I don't know. That's the time. I'm telling I will you give what you it was, bro. But what I will say, though, this is the truth, though. No matter how you try to paint it, it's weird, bro. It's, it's weird. Just, it's not weird for back then. It's not. But it's now. We're in 2025. It's not weird back we're not then. back then. We're not back then. We're in 2025. The nigga in right now. The motherfucker, you, we talking nigga, about 1990, nah, 87. So was it weird when the Drake did it? Was it weird in 2009 when Drake did it or the that weird was, shit that no, came out? No, on the stage, I was When definitely the weird shit weird. come out? When the weird shit come out? When the year, what year was that? Because that shit weird, nigga. What is we What's saying? What's weird? You are mad because your fans 
didn't put a wall up and say that was 15 years ago. I said it. I said, yo, the way they looking at it is like he just did it today. That's I expected you to do that. I that's expected what? you to do that. You the I nigga that's supposed to call it real, bro. We look at you to be the voice of the streets, nigga. We I called it real. We look at I you I said Blake didn't do this today. It was 21-22. I'm going to keep it real, though. Right now, huh? You ain't, I, I don't know what it is with Dr. Dre. It's I nothing with Dr. Nothing. Dre. I it's know all good, bro. I'm bro, cool. I ain't no, I'm bro, Dr. Dre ain't no street, I'm nigga. Y'all just believe that. I ain't that. no street. I ain't I don't know street niggas believe that. Not on no street shit. It must be like on some, like, music. If I'm calling the spade a spade, you can't speak on an you're era you don't come right from, now, bro. See? You're not calling the spade a spade right now. You're not. You're not. And I'm going to be Nigga in the South, they was fucking them 12. And them niggas are some sick, dirty fuck niggas. And I tell them to their face. Nasty niggas. Was, was, so, was, was, and them girls is fucked up psychologically because of that. I'm probably really about the only nigga who had a girlfriend that was in his age bracket. Because you wasn't, you so ain't no weird ass nigga. So all the rest of them, bullshit, I was 14 fucking grown women. They weird. That's I fucked a grown woman when I was when I was what sixteen. So nigga, they, they they weird. No, I wouldn't call it weird because I this shit. That was my teacher that was sucking my dick, nigga. My art teacher. But what I'm saying oh is, my God. what I'm saying is, back then, I'm not gonna say what Dre was doing was weird because I understood how that happened and how that went back then. If he was sneaking and picking her up from the corner and the mama didn't know where who he was and all this shit, she had a woman to get pregnant, she was 20, right? So that's obviously, they knew this nigga. He was a public figure even back then, bro. 86, 87, nigga, uh, fuck the police is out. He's a huge public figure, nigga. This is the first time in history some shit like this didn't came out. And, and this is why I'm feeling like the parents weird, because, okay, yeah, he probably a superstar or yeah, in the making. Yeah, weird, bro, like, back, because her parents, probably her dad, mama and daddy, was probably the same age bracket. They're I not going to look at it. I'm just telling you, they're not going to look at it. You talking about five-year, four-year difference? It's not as, that's not that crazy. They're to not, me. bro. What crazy is. Her parents, I guarantee you, her mama and daddy was probably the same age difference, if not even a little. So she's not gonna look at it weird, I'm telling you. I, I hear you, bro. I ain't finna argue with that shit. Bro. Now, today, it it's a little different today. Now, if she didn't look at it weird because her husband was the same age difference, that means her mama didn't look at her weird because her husband was probably even that or more. That's what it was. Today, I don't think parents really going for it. But back then, Nigga, I got brothers, nigga. I got a brother that's 54, 55. Nigga, <laughs> shit, I know how I went back then. Nigga, you would see the the, the, the girl's mama drop the motherfucking daughter off. So the what's the out. difference between him and R. Kelly and them? R. Kelly didn't do nothing wrong. Because wasn't the parents giving consent? The parents gave consent. But, but he in jail. The morning gave consent. The parents was... The parents was touching R. Kelly as if they were the girls. Yeah, that's correct. See, <laughs> but see, listen, listen to me, bro. I think for me, maybe it's because I grew up in this. He era. didn't even know that the one that he in there weird, for. That is weird, whack. He didn't that's know. Weird, bro. That's weird, so, bro. So is it weird for a, a sixteen-year-old to tell a nigga she eighteen? Yeah. Well, yes, yes, yes. It happens all the time. Yes. And if that was the case with Dr. Dre, then I'd take away everything that, that what I'm saying. But if know. he knew, if he knew the girl was her age, don't know. I don't That's care the if point. the parents, listen to me though, because this is what I'm trying to say. You got to get to eight. This, I get this from you. You got to get to the root. You can't, you no, can't listen speak to me on though. That error, though I'm bro. going with you though. I'm going with you. You got to get to you the root. You cannot bro. speak on that error. Bro. Oh my God. Bro. I always do that. This. was normal. Every time I be cooking, every time I I'm get a good point, you, it this nigga was normal, nigga. Take my away, telling me that I can't talk. You about can't it. speak on. You can't. All right, you got it, bro. I, I guarantee you, nigga, your auntie did cocaine. Probably shit. That, that was like a house. That was normal. Yes. You get what I'm saying? So, 
some shit we look at, we I'm like, bro, that was normal shit these motherfuckers did. I see pictures of my pops and them and tight ass bell bottoms. From the seventies. Those hands doing that. That was normal. I, I, I always bring that up when they talk about oh, the young niggas. So you know what, what I'm mean? telling you is, right? 17, 20, 21, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. In the in the motherfucking late 80s, 87, 86, 88, my nigga, I hate to say it, but nobody saw that as weird. That was just normal. And then it became weird. I mean, I just think it became weird over the, you know, really, I'm gonna be real. People didn't really start looking at it weird until old R. Kelly got a light put on him. Because they, so nigga, 90, when I was in high school, 90. they was doing it. When I was in high school, that was, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. just happened to be a young nigga balling with cars and shit. So, you know, I probably would have lost my nigga if I wouldn't. I know uh, that was happening in my time, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm in the 2010s, nigga. Like this is like we talking about, you know what I'm saying? Like so, it, it was still 20, 25 year old dudes pulling up, getting the girls that were 16, 17 that that look grown and shit. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas will be, they'll be dating niggas out of the school or we'll get into it with the girl or some shit. And I'm gonna keep I go it get my boyfriend, a nigga 20 years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it real with you. Ain't nobody thought about that shit, bro. I know Kendra think about it. I didn't think about it. We didn't all watch the movie. It ain't even been an issue. He ain't even think about it. But that's my point. Like, my point is, if he would have thought about it, I don't think he'd bring Dre out. That's me. I, I know how big Dre is. I know how big Dre is, but it's no, just because of the whole, the whole. No, yes, I do. He the biggest. This the thing. To me, Dre is the. To me, Dre is. Y'all niggas. If we talking Jay biggest, Prince, he up there. He the. He the top. He the top. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, I ain't no way. He would have denied bringing Dre out. I mean, he probably had to request that. I'm just saying, it, and it made it a moment. It did. I'm not taking away from it, but when you start looking at it like this. I mean, I mean hey, you the only one that's doing it that way. I'm not. No, I am not. No, I am not. Dre hey, is hey. not going to face no scrutiny behind that. I, I don't think Dre faces anything because he doesn't do interviews and he's not really public like that no more. Well, I think you don't it's have more of a to Kendrick do interviews thing. to face scrutiny. Bro. I think it's more of a Kendrick thing. He's, I, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's more. going to face no motherfucking scrutiny. That nigga Kendrick probably wasn't for about four years old. Nigga in 86, 87. I know, but it's just like you kind of doing this. It's like we just looking at you a little funny, Kendrick. That's what I'm saying. That's the Nobody's hip-hop looking at Kendrick. Yes, we funny. are. How you looking at Kendrick funny when the shit came out of Drake's mouth? Tell me what came out of Kendrick's mouth. You talking about a nigga, nigga he had? You talking shit? about a nigga he had come on stage and bring him to the stage? We talking about Drake who went on stage and said the weird shit. Weird you shit. cannot, nigga. I, Show me what Kendrick did funny. What'd he say? We can show you what Drake did funny. Nigga, Kendrick ain't finna feel no scrutiny about Kendrick that Kendrick ain't do nothing he brought but bring out. this nigga out. That's it. That's all he did was brought him out. Nigga, tell me what Kendrick did. Go find some shit that say Kendrick did this. Where is that? Never nothing involved. This children. is Drake not Kendrick. Lie on Kendrick. This ain't motherfucking Drake and motherfucking... This ain't motherfucking Drake and Drake. This Drake and Kendrick. This is artist for artists. Okay, fuck the beef. As long as we calling it real, uh, Dre is just as weird as Drake. That's just let's just put it like that. Then I right, hey, fuck the beef. beef. Fuck all the beef. Fuck all that. That I actually I ain't even gonna say. Just, I'm not even gonna say just as weird. That nigga more weird. That shit is super weird to me. I can never wrap my mind around it. But like you said, I'm not from that era. I can't, my, here, I can't wrap my I can't wrap my mind nigga when I turn you can't wrap your mind around a lot 17, of shit. But listen, half you niggas couldn't even survive no, back bro, then but listen when I turned 17 I wouldn't even look at no bitch in high school when I left high school it wouldn't even been no it was never no like I didn't even have no attraction to no bitch in high school so that's, that to me is just weird for a, a grown ass man to be attracted to a 16 year old that's just me that's just uh, that's, that's First my of all, opinion let's give the narrative that Dre met the woman at a high school bro just kill that. Cause that's I don't know where he met her. I don't know yeah, where he, he met her. He didn't go sit at the high school nigga and watch her come out of high school. Oh, I ain't say he met her at no high school. I don't know that's where he met her at. Do, bro. You think you nah, I said that when I left high school at 17, I would have stopped fucking with any bitch in high school. That's just me. Like, so well, that's how I was that's always just taught. you weird because 17 is 17 in high school, my nigga. So 
Why not date another 17 year old in high school? Man, when you out of school, bro, you don't date hoes in school, bro. That's just been the rule. Everybody knows. Out of here. Man, you nigga, you, if it's nigga, a one, I got if it's a one hey, year over type shit, listen, I'll give you listen. a pass. But I ain't finna, listen. you ain't finna be dating out the high bro, school hoes if you out of school, bro. Hey, listen, I skipped a grade, so really, you're an I exception to the rule, 17. bro. But you just said 17. You're an exception it's women to in the school rule. 17. So why, how you gonna say it's weird if you 17? The day the school a female on her senior year. I didn't say it's weird. I said I didn't do it. Yeah, but nigga, you did. If you if you do the seventeen and she's still seventeen, I give you a pass on that one. Cool. But when we talking about you, you out of high school. What do you mean a pass? Y'all the same age. That's cool. That's why I say that's a pass. Eighteen or eighteen out of high school. You just. Let me tell you why you sound even weird. Oh my god, dog. Now I'm gonna really paint the picture. Ladies, how many of y'all in school was in the tenth grade and your boyfriend was in the eleventh grade? Well, I mean, so, far, I did. so soon as so soon as he graduated and turned eighteen, he's supposed to say, "I know we've been fucking around for for uh, two years, but now I'm eighteen next month. I gotta stop fucking with you for a year." Hey, what are you talking about, bro? I said that nigga already. If it's a one year thing or if it's something like that, you overlap, cool. But if you is a nigga out of school and you actively prowling on bitches that's in, in that school, to me that's where it starts to get that's where it, that ain't the conversation. That's just me. You twisting. Dre never not nobody ever said Dre. Dre was out of school and she was still 16, 17 in school. No Who's matter how. Said? I ain't say he went to the school. Yeah. I'm saying that she's in that age group. That's that shit out of well, line, I'm bro. To figure out, I don't care how no nigga try to paint it. That's shit out of line, bro. And I'm Drake, gonna leave it at that. Listen, Drake did some funny shit on stage. What did Kendra do to him? To him? Cause you try to like, you try to like balance it out with other people. He said Baca got a what, weird what? case. Why is he around? He does. So when you start bringing does other Drake people got a case? in it, we it, you can Drake, bring other people in it. Does and Drake on stage, have a on case? Too. Was he charged? Was Dre, did the mother of Miss Shelley parents bring any accusations against Dre? Same thing that didn't know no accusations on Dre. Yes or no. Nope. Yes or no. Did the father Drake bring that on Drake? Drake his own accusations. We seen it. What the fuck you mean? Miss Shelley brought the accusations when she said she dated him. No, she never said the nigga raped me or my mama didn't know she or said parents she dated didn't him know. Under age. Allegations. Listen, never once did you see allegations on Dr. Drake or Kendrick. All allegations are on Drake's side. Man, I don't know. Fuck it, let's narrow it down. Who got who got the paperwork on? Who got the charge? Didn't feel the type of way. Didn't press no charges on Drake. Nothing. Who got the charge? Who got the mug shot? I'm waiting. My thing is, Drake, Drake's so weird for saying what he said, but then a nigga could date in your era with the same shit 15 what I'm years saying later. Is, That's like, that to me look, just... What I'm like, saying we, is, we just not Drake got a direct coming out of his mouth. What Kendrick got coming out of his mouth? Man, I ain't talking about Kendrick. I'm talking about Nothing, Dr. Right? Drake. This other nigga over here got a sexual whatever charge. What charge Drake got? Like just beating up, uh, he hit a bitch or something like that. Thank God. No, it, it, oh, but is it a sexual or any type of charge? It's domestic. Oh, okay. We don't give a fuck about that. Niggas can't tell That's what Baca shit was. Realness, motherfucker That's lying. what Baca shit was. No, he it wasn't. It started he as a, a domestic complaint. Them folks came he here. He got a sexual. You better read that paperwork, bro. He got a sexual. You telling me there wasn't no sexual the allegations? The bitch was a hoe. I don't <laughs> care what she so was, that was, nigga. Was a hoe, you so they tried to put no charges on him. That he didn't, that he Walk didn't. Walk in that penitentiary talking about. I took her pussy because she was a hoe, and watch we don't put no yeah, holes in your motherfucking no pussy, ass. Though, bro, ain't no rape in there, bro. What we, what we doing that? We you, doing why that. you saying she was a hoe? Because that's what it was. She was a documented, like, prostitute. So that's why they tried to put the charges on him, because he was a documented nigga that was pimping. So like that, but she and her, that was Was his charge pimping and pandering, panhandling? 
I don't know what. What the was the charge? I'll give, give you the exact. Sex, what was the call? It was sex. It was sex trafficking because they was going state to state. He was selling. The there it go. Yeah. So. That, there it go. Sex trafficking, right? Yeah, but that was his girlfriend who he was pimping, and they were going state to state, and he hit him with the sex trafficking. But I don't think they went through with the I'm going to be real, bro. I, I think it's weird to pimp your girlfriend. I definitely think it's weird to pimp. I think it's I weird pimping in general. I don't know if he was whatever, pimping her or whatever. not. That's just me. I don't like pimping. That's the part that okay, we don't really know. Pimping or he took the so how you gonna say? So how you going to say she was a hoe? Yeah, he said she was. I've already seen this girl's talk before. This is not new news I'm gonna get, to niggas that's been following Drake. This see? new news to you niggas. What the paperwork no say? Been on. What the paperwork say? Is it anything dismissed. sexually dismissed. involved? It's in like this? dismissed. What was the charge? He had a sexual charge. And again. Stop blaming Kendrick because the Drake fans bit. Nigga. If the case was dismissed, why Drake didn't defend his man? You really should blame, blame Drake for not defending his man, bro. I mean, yeah, a little bit. I do. I mean, I mean bro, maybe, maybe that's what's coming. If maybe the that's case what's coming. was dismissed, why Drake didn't defend his man? Maybe that's what's coming. Let me get the top. And his man, his man's is still up. His man's is still up. Bro, come on, bro. Bro, no, ain't no, what bro. What you want? These hey, niggas bro. still get money. You ain't got to. Why are you money, mad, bro? bro? Why You don't know what them niggas get, get money, bro. bro. Why are you mad? Why are you mad that a nigga said something and the other nigga didn't defend? You should be I'm mad be at the real, nigga that didn't defend I'm not even mad. I'm just calling a spade a spade. Niggas is not we trying caught, to do bro. that, though. But that's cool if that's not what we doing today. Hey, bro, I'm just telling you straight up. In them 80s, nigga, nigga bringing that female home, picking her up, taking up, nigga, them parents just give consent, bro. That's what that I was. hear you, man. I can't bro, argue bro, with you. I'll be a, I'll be a hypocrite ass nigga to sit here and be like, oh, oh, nigga, that's what that was. Right? But your man had got arrested. The only motherfucker you should be leave mad it alone. At. In a couple Drake. minutes, you finna start calling me all kind of bitch ass niggas. No, this, that, and third, no, bro. but I, it is. No, it's it just is. real shit. You should be mad at Drake for not defending. He got the voice. Kendrick threw some shit out there. He let it live, bro. Let's keep it real. Oh, Drake let it live. It was the same equivalency think, to how, I think, um, I think, hold on, I hold on, Brock. Brock, right it's now, the same bro. thing of how YG, uh, YG came, came out and said, there, you, think, you see how YG came understand. out and said, yeah, you, hey, you see how YG came out and said, hey, nigga, go put my name in that shit? YG didn't let it live. It's just like how you just pressed up on Imam about uh, academics. Niggas ain't gonna spread that far. Same food. way. Why, bro, why did he let it live? YG immediately, hey, homie, don't put my name in that shit, nigga. I'm from Bompton. If YG wouldn't have said nothing, it would have looked like he was with it. Am I right? Am I right? You need to be mad at Drake, bro. Drake should have came out defending his man, bro. I don't think the shit. Kendrick just threw an accusation out there, bro. He should have came out. I'm going to be real. I'm just going to keep it real, bro. He threw some shit out there, my nigga. I'm going to be real. He never mm. came out and addressed it. I mean, he just said all this shit is lies. That's all he said. I, that's like he said everything the nigga saying over there is lies. Nigga, nigga said well, nigga had no. a secret kid. Nigga say he had a secret kid. That came out was a lie. And nobody like this. I this mean, nigga but here goes the thing. That showed you how strong he wasn't. Because if he did have a kid, bro, what is a secret kid? If you know about the kid and the mother know about secret. the kid, and you're taking care of your kid. There's nothing that says you have to tell the world about your kid. So again, bro, it goes on to the Drake fans biting. 
What the fuck is a secret gig? I don't know. That was a Kendrick line. And guess who bit? The fans. Listen. You can't get mad at me. Listen, listen, Wack. You I'm can't not get debating mad at certain it. shit that you're saying. You certain can't get mad at a nigga trolling, bro. Listen, Wack. Certain shit you saying, I'm with. It's just that one thing. That's the only thing. The Everything fact, else, let me tell you where Drake it. lost. Hey, y'all, where Drake lost that? He lost when he even addressed having a secret kid. I wouldn't even say nothing about it. I'm not sure if he even addressed that as a one-on-one. The only nigga give a lie. Listen, a lie only gives life when you give it to him. I'm not explaining no lie. I don't nigga. think he addressed that. He just said everything is lies. That's all. He was just saying the whole shit. Like you said, for the whole shit, but it could have been the shit about And guess man. what? could have been everything. The world, the majority of the world believe too. The lies. So, nigga, is that that's a Drake problem? That nah, if the lie is more entertaining than the truth, they gonna go with the lie. We can, we know that. Oh, we know okay. that. But I'm yeah. saying that Drake ain't, Drake ain't, he ain't got to pull niggas thought he had because they believe the lie against him. I think the fans are starting to not believe the lies and because it's starting to realize that, oh, this nigga was just lying. But he got, the work is already done. He already got the billion streams and all of that. That's cool. Nigga I ain't taking that away from no takeaway. Here, should win Grammys and all of that. But what I'm saying is the substance behind it wasn't really substantial. I mean, I mean it's cool. You say, bro, you can't, bro. It, but it did what it did. So it, did. it did. It did. You got to say, okay, well, does that kind of tell us where we thought Drake was at as a superstar when it came to his following? Maybe it ain't all the way that. Wax. Because they believe what the nigga said, bro. I'm just keeping it real, bro. And switch you up, right? Cause they, they believe see. what, bro. Listen, they believe what listen, he said, I let bro. y'all niggas convince me. Convince you to what? He ain't trying to convince shit. Jump nigga, street, the motherfucker. The nigga did not lose on some on some rap shit. Now, when the numbers start coming Who out, they lose when, on I, when the uh, numbers start coming out, I couldn't argue with that. When after like days and days of the numbers, it was like, oh, okay, we, well, fuck it. Yeah, well, I mean, when they first the fuck, released, that's the only way we get when they One stream and one stream, and I heard them when they first came out, we didn't know how the numbers was going to do. Shit, bro, Drake beat, Drake beat the shit out that nigga, man. And that, and like, and that, it's like, it, but niggas didn't call him uh, real because he did You the, are cap. Whatever, what are so. you talking about, bro? Man, on some real hip hop Besides whatever, bro, he think, lost if that I, whole if battle, If I play bro. you beat bar for we can go down. It's folk quite, bro, listen. So I'm going to say this and we're going to move nigga, forward, bro. bro. It's four fucking quarters of football, nigga. At the end of the game, it's who scored the most points. Game I'm not over, I'm talking bro. about. Game is over. You hey, waved the flag into the... Bro, actually, I'm going to be real with the bitch city Drake did. I'm going to call it now. The bitch-ass nigga say, I quit. You want us to play it? Facts. My nigga, you might want to chill out. You ain't... He said I quit. When he say that? And what? Play that nigga song in the Are you for real right now? You not know you not that. for real right now, bro. Bro, I honestly got to hear the words I quit from Drake. I, nigga, I that nigga that. said, I I'm done after this one. I think and the other song is going lying, crazy. So this shit ain't worth my time. Bro, he said, I'm done after this one. The nigga dropped the other shit and crucified him. And we ain't heard nothing since. Bro, we just... What you he waved a white it. flag, bro. You got it. You did. I'm got just it. keeping it real. Nah. Right. When the nigga you waved a white it. flag, did Kendrick drop after he waved a white flag or before? It was 100 gigs and... and no, no, man, nah. That ain't got nothing to do with this, nigga. Fuck out of here. That ain't got nothing to do with that shit. Nigga, man, I'm this saying, nigga did Kendrick crazy, drop, bro. not like us, before or after Drake waved the white flag? After. Okay, you hear that, right? I don't want to fight. Shut up, bitch. Boom, hit him in the mouth. Man, I told you I don't want to fight. Though. That wasn't... Bro, what bro, 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 bro. Fuck all that. Nigga said, after this one, I'm done. Kendrick said, you bitch-ass nigga. Hit him in the mouth. Kick him in the ass. 
bloodied his snot box. He dropped his head, put his shoulders over, and said, man, I ain't doing this, Tobo. Shoot, and didn't fight back. He didn't fight back. I thought Drake was the last. No. No, no, nigga. not like nah, us is the last on. song, nigga. Timeline, Kendrick on, dropped bro. one song, then dropped another one on him, which is not like us. No, one. remember he Drop doubled up on this nigga. This nigga's up. Drake right. nigga bowed out. Yeah, that's how I said. Yeah. yeah, he Kendrick bowed out. Song. Like, bro, you in here fighting for a quitter? I don't give a fuck nah, what a nigga said. Lie. Like. He should have fought ago. back. I, I'm gonna say this straight up to you, Wes. He should have fought back, bro. The battle not over. It is over. <laughs> no, it's it not. It is. No, it's not. No, it's, yeah, the battle war, nigga. And, and, it's and, and oh, keep it bro, going. Hey, bro, no, hey, bro. Yeah. You cannot take a four-month break and say, okay, let's try to do it again. It's over. Drake, Drake dropped the hard part six after Kendrick dropped Not Like Us. I Thank you, chat. Bro, I know what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. These niggas. The hard part six did not come out. This nigga no, yeah, he sure no. did. Sure bro, the hard part six can't. Bro, the hard part six came out after six in the morning came out. Bro, what are you talking about? Not like us was the last song to drop. I don't give a fuck what they talking about. I remember the funk, nigga. I remember the funk, nigga. Me, Eric, and motherfucking Jet. Not Eric, but me and Justin was in this bitch going crazy for them three days, nigga. <laughs> Let's pull it up, nigga. We know what songs Hold drop on. when, nigga. We gonna go to songs. You saying his last song was what? The heart? Yeah, the heart. I think it was heart part five or some shit like that. The heart part six. He's saying it dropped after. Part not, six, yeah. He's saying it dropped after not like us. All right, let me pull it up right now. He did drop after not like us. And my feelings and my feelings. We're a God's fan back on the road. God damn, why is that nigga song so far down? Not like us drop May 4th, the hard part six drop May 5th. Yeah, niggas don't talk to me about me. Bro, I follow right. this. Y'all niggas. Okay, so let me ask you a question. I got that like one so what, nigga? So let me ask you a question. He still bowed out at the end of the song. Not, bro, he never fought back. He, he never did, fought back. Bro, you didn't listen. Nigga, the song, hey bro, players. hey bro, but, the motherfucking not, not not like us. Took off, spit it on him. He never came back to, to, to defend himself. I love the West Coast, bro. I swear bro, to God. Bro, not like us is like the number one song, my nigga. How the fuck? Is right. It? Nothing this like us. Great, bro. You're right. Perfect. How in the sure. fuck are you Perfect, saying bro. he fall back? I love him. He was he I listen, he was him. losing when Euphoria came out. Euphoria was whooping his ass before God, any of that shit. The most loyal niggas, they can oh, never no, tell me the West Coast don't stick together. Hey, bro, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Nigga, I was the nigga on the west that they was mad at. Cause I had you the only the first one long. that was keeping it a style. What you wild. talking about, bro? Watch you do it. And shout out to game. That's the realest nigga over there. I, I man, bro, I don't even want us, man. And we can get deep into this because I watch hip hop. I fuck it. Let's let we man, open what are you up some talking about, home. my nigga. I didn't give a man, fuck about what no nigga man, was from. I'm about to, I'm about I didn't to, care what no nigga was I'm from. I'ma send it to you first. But I bet you let me ask you something as a Drake fan. You telling me you wouldn't have wanted to see that nigga respond to that? He did. Oh my he god. He even talked about it the didn't song. Work. In the in the response, it he didn't talked work. about the song. It <laughs> wasn't for the week out like response. In the fucking response. Nobody remembers. I'm telling you. Nobody remembers. Oh, what are you talking about? Cause the song was that bad. The song was that bad, bro. I thought he was gonna pop back, but at the end of the song, he bowed the he fuck out. You know he Listen, did. Fam hey, 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 Justin. You know he did. Justin, Family Matters yeah. did better than the Heart Part Six. Oh, Nigga, sure. all the songs did. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? He's mad right now. He's a Heart Part Six is not even acknowledgeable in this beat, bro. Don't be mad at Drake for not fighting back and not defending his people, bro. Don't be mad at Kendrick for saying what he said. The nigga, he should have fought back. He did, bro. But it's cool. I'm not finna keep. Going okay, back. now hold on. I'm in a way. So let me ask you something. All right, we got it, bro. So let me ask you here. something. So, what's good on one side is cool on the other side, right? Am I... What's good for the goose is good for okay, the game. Okay, well, he said word. his wife was fucking his manager. Drake said that. Lie. So, you ain't. So, if he can lie. Why you mad at Kendrick? I I publicly said 
That's a lie. I was with that Trump shit, too. Why are you that's mad? Well, if they lie. both lying, I'm why calling are you mad? Because the other nigga lied worse. Bro, all I'm calling is the beta spade. We was real. Just like you just <laughs> said, the manager shit, that's a lie. Did I just get on here and say, no, nah, nigga, we don't know if that's a lie. What I'm not. saying no, is, though, what I'm, what I'm saying is, right, if they both take shooting their shots, that's what this music is about. Why are you mad that Kendrick did a better job at being believable? If that shit was believable, then... Oh, I mean, it was I definitely right. believable. The world believed it. That's a fact. They crucified that nigga right. for a minute, bro. You know what? At that point, I will... Come on, bro. Because that's the part where I got to get to Come on, bro. But, but, but yeah, but I mean, but, you know... You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to this marketing and all that shit, you know that shit. But listen, no, we said what we some, watch. We watch the world. I'm saying on some period shit, cause you be you been around them periods. That's who you came up around. Uh, your, all your niggas that that, that that you was with, period, nigga, on some period shit. And if you probably sit down and talk to game, cause he's a period, he, I, bro, bar for bar, Drake won. I don't care. It, it's not a. That's it's not your even personal on no, opinion. So no, what we not. have that's, to that's, go that's to as periods, right? We got to say personal opinion is personal opinion. Now, remember, I was the one that had Drake up the first two songs. So you can't you use did. that West you Coast shit on me, right? Okay. You kept it real. So we have to go to the world. To say world. But you just told me you never heard World, the response, I never right? did. If he did, it was weak. I don't remember that's what I'm saying, bro. And that's why I felt like the bias kicked in for you at a certain No. Point. This is my opinion. Not like us. It's, it's like, an anthem. You was like, bro, that's it's a not, big hit. The they like, oh, Are you telling me that song's not a hit? It's the biggest hit that we done seen in probably the last five, ten, well, five years. What the fuck are you saying, nigga? But I don't. I. Right. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> Listen to me, whack. They say Pusha T B Drake. Drake had the hits of that shit. It's not about the hits, bro. It's not Once about again, nigga. Drake, I'm going to be real. Drake, stop rapping. The only difference is Pusha T ain't Kendrick. Pusha T didn't go back to his hometown and have a million niggas out there. Pusha T didn't have the motherfucking blogs reporting everything that was going on with it. They just didn't. Pusha T's song was not big as this Kendrick song. Yeah, you can't compare that to Pusha T, not like us. Did I just compare that to Pusha T, not like us, nigga? You better not let that nigga Brock talk to you like that, bro. Exactly, you gotta fight back.